Hello, Tom here from You First Chairs. I'm here to explain the difference between a dual motor and a single motor riser recliner chair. Now these are both the same brand, HSL, and they're both the same style, which is an Aesgarth. And as you can see, they rise exactly the same. The difference is that the dual motor has two motors, one to control the rise and the feet, and it also has a separate motor to control the back. Whereas a single motor uses just one motor to control all of the functions. Now, as you can see, the dual motor has five buttons in total, four main controls and one reset button. The single motor, however, only has three buttons, two main controls and the reset button. So let's show you how they each work. So the dual motor chair having two separate motors means that I can raise the feet up, for example, and I can put that to any position that I want. So for example, there, and then I have independent control over the back of the chair. So you can stop at any point. I can put the back up, I can put the feet up a bit, and it just means that you've got a bit more adjustability to find your perfect position. Now, the single motor chair, only having one motor to do all the functions, means that if you put the feet up, the feet will rise first. You can obviously stop that at any time still, but the back will only go down once the feet are raised properly. So again, you can stop at any time, but as it's got one motor, it's one function, so the feet will always have to come up before the back comes down. So, there you go. I get asked quite a lot which one is best, but the truthful answer is, I don't know. It's, it's all personal preference. If you don't like to recline with your back and you just like your feet up, then the single motor is probably the way to go. It's got simpler buttons, it's just up, down and reset, so it's very simple and does the job nicely. Whereas if you want more control over where your feet are, where your back is, and have a bit more independent control there, then the dual motor is, is the way to go. So I hope that's answered all of your questions, and thank you for watching this video today.